If you're a CrossFitter, you don't want to, and don't be a CrossFitter, Mudafricks. I swear I will take you out with my own two hands. What is up, Mudafricks? Kenny KO back with another video. Shirt off, pants down, you all know the drill. Everything you need will be in the description of this video down below. And we had a video topic that's been getting requested a lot lately, so I thought I'd go ahead and cover that for you guys. And that question is how to become sponsored by either a fitness company or some other company. So let's jump right to it. As always, we will scroll through the Instagram Discover page as I discuss this with you guys to give you guys some entertainment rather than just looking at my hideous, atrocious face. Um, but, mother fricks, what is basically going to set you apart? So you have to look at it like this. When you're applying for sponsorship or becoming an affiliate with, um, we're going to say a fitness company, just to make this simple. You look at it as in the sense of you're applying for a job. So it's very similar to that. You want to stand out than everybody else that's applying for the job. So if you think about it like a big company like Gymshark that's out there, um, you have to think they're probably getting thousands of requests to become a sponsored athlete for them. And they're not just going to take some person that is just like the average lifter or fitness personality out there. I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but what I'm saying is this advice is really going to help you, okay? You have to either have one, a big following. So they're a business like Gymshark, Nike, Under Armour, Enhanced Athlete, whatever company you want to work for, they're a business and their ultimate goal is to make money and sell product. So if you have a huge following, they know that you're going to have a lot of people that are following your channel and they know that if you promote their product it's going to increase their sales immensely um, if you look at the biggest athletes in the fitness community the hodge twins etc etc cali muscle whoever it is um, they're going to really help push that product now eventually what those athletes learn though is because of how big their following is they start their own clothing company because there's much more profit down the road but if you have a following you're pretty much guaranteed to be working as a sponsored athlete or an affiliate with the company as long as they don't really have opposite morals of you. So for instance, Gymshark dropped me because I am so open about steroid use, SARMs use, um, calling out fake naturals that work with Gymshark, etc, etc. So my morals didn't really go hand in hand with what they were looking for. So that's rule number two is kind of fit the persona of what you're applying for. So. If it's a fitness clothing company that has a certain name like maybe Aesthetic Revolution, you should really aim for having an aesthetic type physique that they can represent their clothing on very well. If it's a bodybuilding lifestyle or a powerlifting company, you want to be a powerlifter obviously. If you're a crossfitter, you don't want to, and don't be a crossfitter, mother fricks, I swear I will take you out with my own two hands. But if you're a crossfitter, obviously you're not going to be working with a powerlifting clothing company. Now you could, but it's probably not going to work out because you just have opposite goals and mindsets going on. So have a big following, have uh, the same goals or mindset in the same general category. And then rule number three, it always helps, honestly, if you're attractive guys, because they want those poster boy faces. You know, the David Lades, No Homo, um, the Steve Cooks. All the fitness models out there that have the attractive faces, they represent their clothing well and they can model their clothing on their website and really help, like I said, push product. Because at the end of the day, it's a business. They want to make money, they want to push product, and that's what's going to help them do that. So the first step though, guys, is usually on each website, whether it's Nike, Gymshark, like all the companies I've listed, there's so many out there. They usually have a link to, excuse me, um, messaging them on their website about becoming a sponsored athlete or affiliate and they'll have an application process very similar to applying for a job online where you're going to say why you want to work with the company links to all of your social media so they can check you out and see if you'd fit the company well and that's really all it takes guys and you know my advice is if you're starting out and you don't have any social media following um, but there is guys out there that have incredible physiques and would represent very well. The only downside is they don't have the following. Start with the smaller companies to get some exposure. Um, like you can find a bunch of starting out companies that are really just looking for athletes that, and they don't really have the requirement for a social media following. They just want someone that will represent them in a good manner. So if you compete or you know do powerlifting meets, whatever it is. If you think that you can offer something for the company, go ahead, reach out to them. You know, I applied for probably 20 different companies initially. This was years and years ago, back when I wanted to get sponsored super bad. And this is when Gymshark was super small. I applied for them when they first started out. 
they gave me a small affiliate chance. I wasn't a full-time sponsored athlete. At the time, it was Matt Ogus, Jeff Side, um, Chris Lovato. I'm trying to think of some more other names. But those were the big athletes at the time, guys, that were with Gymshark. And Gymshark was the first company to really kind of do that, where they took these big athletes that had a following and made them sponsored athletes. No company really in the fitness community had really ever done that before. And that was where all the companies started to copy Gymshark and do that same thing because they realized how big and how much potential that process had. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe learn something. I hope this answers some questions. But like I said, I applied for so many different sponsorships and affiliate programs way back when. And I encourage you to do the same, especially ones that you want to work with. And make sure to tell them exactly how much that means to you and what you can really offer them in return for working with them. I hope you mother fricks enjoyed the video. As always, make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic, signing out.